Hello friends. So today we are solving another cognition question. So let's first of all I minimize my face screen. Okay. So yeah, this much is this much is quite enough. So let's go to the description part. Mm -hmm. So this one is like our fourth question on cognition. So write a program to print the prime number series from one to n, one to n, where n is an input. Sample input is one. Fifty. So we have to print all the prime number between uh, zero to fifty. So two, three, five, seven, eleven, and thirteen are prime number. So it is a simpler question, but we are still tackling this question because this question was asked in previous year of cognition, uh, Jensen elevator rule. So let's start coding. Let's open the ideally. Okay. <clears throat> ideally, ideally Python. Okay, cool. So this one is easy. We can complete it in just five and ten minutes. Open. Let's use another Python file. Okay. Control A minus text pick. So, so first thing is we have to take the n value. Uh, let's take this n so that we can match it with the way the question wants the int input. So first of all, we are taking value n, which is 15. Now we have to we have to start the logic. So for for i in range for i in range. n so look n comma two comma minus one so so we are tracing in a backward way so we are using for loop to trace the values in a backward way so print i so to understand it uh, much easily so i'm printing i here so that you can analyze it now if i go with uh, window f5 if i run the code and enter 15 here so from 15 to 2 so 2 is ex uh, excluded so i have to go to till 1 so that uh, 2 is included so window f5 enter so 15 so i'm starting from 50 so i am tracing the values from uh, above to below okay this is how we are going to do it so now we are uh, we are we will solve this prime number question with on the basis of two list so l this is first list we create l is equal to first list then l1 is equal to second list so we are using this we can easily trace in a reverse order uh, print i so i is going to print in reverse order as you know, window f5, enter. If I give 15, so it will print, start from 15 and print till 2 in reverse order. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use another code loop for j in i, j in range, range 2 to n, so 2 to i. So, i here is acting as starting n. It means i is 15, here 2 to 14, uh, till 14 it is going to work. So, as we know that, how uh, the code loop is going to work. So, after that, now, uh, what do we need to do? So, what we will do? So, so let's just do it in this way. If, uh, if i shift modulus j is equal to equal to zero, that then l dot append i and put the break. And this l one is going to store all value l one dot append all i value. After that, we will remove all the non-prime, all the non-prime number, all the prime numbers from non-prime. So if I print L here, print L and print L1. L1. So print F5, print F. If I give you 15. So first list containing non-prime number. It is it's not prime. Non-prime number. 15, 14, 12, 10, 9, 8, 6, 5 is 4 is non-prime. And this is uh, this list containing prime as well as non-prime number. All numbers from 2 to 15. So how I put the logic here, if i modulus j, i is fixed from 15, 15 is fixed from 2 to 14. If any number is dividing the 15, which is giving us 0, that means that particular number is non-prime. So I am putting that number into list L. So now I have two lists. So what will I do? So I will simply use a for loop here. For i in L, for, for i in L, uh, L1 dot pop L1 dot pop or remove i. Pop will work or not. After that, what will I do? Print L1. Print L1. Window F5, enter 15. Pop. This function is not present. Let's let take remove function. Remove. Window F5, enter. So all this number are prime number. So we require number from uh, uh, 2 to 15, which is prime number. So I'm getting the prime number. Now what I will do, I will just put an, another predefined function which is sorted. Window F5, enter, 15. 
uh, sorted attribute is sorted i have used start the function is sorted okay so when if i enter uh, 15 enter let's do it sorted is or sort let's check out this one when if i enter 15 uh, attribute list object has no attribute sorted did you mean sort did you mean sort when i put sort it is printing none value why it is happening okay okay I have to put it in L1, sort L1. Let's do it in this manner. 15. Name sort is not defined. Did you mean sorted? Let's find out how to use sort function. Sometimes predefined function gets stuck out of your mind. Sort function in Python. Geek of it without pick list sort. So, Cars dot sort of okay, so I have to do L1 dot sort using that L1 dot sort window F5 enter 15 enter none. Why is this happening? Print L1 window F5 enter uh, 15. It is printing fine. Let's do it in this way. Let's reverse it. So, print rather than going with this, I am going to reverse it. Minus one. This is where I'm. I will get the output also. Why should I start with the same? So if I write fifteen, so I'm getting the output. So how how they want it? They want it print in this manner. Okay, I can do it in this manner too. So for this manner, what will I do? I will do just. I will create J. Okay, okay I will create j variable which can take list then what i do and i've been i click when i will iterate the j for i in j j uh, i have to do take s s is equal to string type s is equal to s plus i plus space plus space they want space print s print us so i think finally our code is done 15 so what is can only can get in okay 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 i have to convert it into str so you can see it with i am solving this small issue you can also face during coding so also try to learn it from my mistake so that you can perform better so so now two three five seven eleven fifteen so I, if i have to remove this space sometimes this space you don't want it how to do it just to remove this the space is removed window f5 enter 15 enter 2357 so it is matching 2357 11 13 for 5 2 3 5 now check it for 5 check it for 5 window f5 for 5 it should be 2 3 5 so finally our code is complete uh, you can see it i can just show it to you this is the code uh, to print the prime number till n the n is going to be passed by the user so thank you for your patience time also a gentle reminder if you really like my content if my content is adding value to your life so please subscribe as well as share my channel so thank you happy learning